Hey friends, welcome back to the Krusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make baits and share good tips with you, I hope. Hope everybody's enjoying the videos and hope everybody had a good holidays, Christmas and New Year's and we're ready to slam it out this year. So I'm going to be putting up a bunch of videos for you guys this year. Um, and I'm definitely going to be making some baits, just cut out a bunch of wooden ones yesterday and some lips and stuff so i'm gonna be getting them ready and uh do some videos on making some baits out of bass wood bass wood and balsa wood um so yeah well let's get started on this one this is one i haven't done yet um it's a small little wake bait and um customer called me and he said uh he's been catching a lot of crappie on this pattern and this little bait and he actually hung it up and lost it so he was like can I get another one of them and I said absolutely and since I haven't done a video on this one and there's a technique that we're going to use and that I haven't showed yet that I do so we're gonna get this one painted up for you and uh, colors we're using today is obviously titanium white we already got her all primed up and the first color we're gonna lay down is some pearl lime pearlized lime 5313 um, so Let's get some of that on there. We're going to coat the whole bait with that. And then we're going to be using some, some pearl green and some black. Pretty easy bait. But, yeah, he says he's catching the, catching a bunch of crappie off of them. Got it hung up. And I uh, want to know if I could do another one. And usually when, I, usually when I get a bait order, if I haven't painted it on video yet... Um, I like to do it for you guys so we're gonna coat this guy down with pearl lime and this is a good color if you haven't used this color before it's a good base coat for doing different greens if you want to lay it underneath of the the greens and it gives it gives it that pearl effect we haven't we didn't put no pearl white on it because we're using two pearl paints, so no need to put any pearl white. And this one's going to be really easy, but I like showing the uh, color combinations, so that way you guys get to look at the different colors and how they blend together and what works good for me. You know, it's uh, sometimes they're just simple colors, but it's the combination of the two colors or three colors that you use that makes it look killer so I know these are simple paints and uh, hopefully uh, you know by, by watching the videos and seeing the colors you'll be like I gotta get me some of that pearl line I like that color but it doesn't go on real dark what I like is a nice little green undercoat and uh, you can lay it on pretty good and it doesn't get real dark all right so that's about it for the pearl pearl line this little wake bait's got some deep scales on it so you want to make sure you kind of hit it from all different angles It's a killer little bait. They're hard to get. They're hard to get. Um, but let me dry this real quick and throw in the green. And we don't even really have to dry it that much since we're going right to another green. Don't even have to clean out the brush. That's the nice thing about it. All right. Alright, and we're just going to go real light, 
and lay on a little bit of that darker green on the top and the shoulders and we're gonna leave that little pearl showing down the sides we're gonna hit the face and chin a little bit and around the eyes Kind of a blue green, which I guess is what makes it effective. All right, a little more under the chin. And there we go. Just shoulder just a little bit more, just to even it out. There we go. I'll dry this and uh, we'll put on the speckles. Okay, so next color we're going to use is going to be opaque black. And uh, let's see, we don't need much of it. So I'm going to use my little board here. bit on the board it's not going to take much and then we're going to use the handy dandy toothbrush all right and since we're doing black we're gonna dip it in there Flick it a little bit just to get the most heaviness off of it. And then we're just going to come back here like this and we're going to flick them specks on there. That's it, right there. Turn it around. Get a little bit more paint on. You got to be careful if, when you dip it down in there. Um, Make sure you flick it a couple times if you don't want big old blobs on there. Let's get a little bit on the face. There it is. That's it. Gives it that little speckle effect. It looks really cool once the uh, epoxy hits on it. All right, let me dry this, and we'll get some eyes on it, get some epoxy on it, and wrap this video up. Okay, for eyes on the sky, we're going with these little blue and black eyes. If you can see them, they're a little bit of a little bit of an iridescent light blue. And uh, I'm using these because this is originally what I put on it the first time. So, uh, since customer is having luck with it, I don't want to change anything. So, we're going to go with these little blue eyes. And I think it complements the green a little bit. This little pattern, I just was playing around with some colors when I first started. And uh, to see how they go together. You know, like I said, I like to do the videos. Even though they don't seem like really hard baits to paint. It's the color combinations that, that I think, I hope anyway, that you guys are enjoying. Getting to see what the colors look like together. That little blue eye looks good in there. It'll really look good when the epoxy hits it. And he's got a little recessed eye, so that eye sits down in there pretty good. Got the pupil pointing up. Let's get the other side on here.
but I wouldn't have thought that it would be as good a bait as he was saying. He said he's been catching crappie like crazy off of it. Which, I guess it's been probably a year since he ordered it. So, I guess he did pretty good in not losing it. But, that's what happens. They get hung up. That's one nice thing is if you're, if you're just a hobby painter. And a fisherman. It's nice to know that you can go back and repaint that bait if you lose it um, I'm in trouble getting that little eye off of there got something sticky on my tweezers Burnisher tool here. Get my eye positioned. There it is. All right. I'm sure he'll be happy. I said, you sure you don't want to order two or three of them? He said, I'm going to order some other baits, so I'll just take one. But there it is. This is CC010 with green speckle wake bait. All right, get some epoxy on it. I'll bring you back and we'll wind this video up. Okay, guys, we're, we're back. Here we go. The green speckled wake bait. And, uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Those pearls look really good once they get the top coat of epoxy on it. And by the way, stay tuned for the next video where I go over my epoxies, how I use them, and uh, some epoxy techniques. All right, so colors we used today on this bait was titanium white, pearlized lime, pearl lime 5313 by Createx, Createx pearlized pearl green 5305, and for the specs, we used Createx Opaque Black. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a short one, but, uh, you know, I appreciate all the subscribers. I'm re closely reaching the 300, and my goal is 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like if you thought this video was good. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up our next video. i got a bunch of videos coming up, guys, so stay tuned. And always remember, stay crusty, my friends.